Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to local music and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today I've been asked to review Moshing Safety Tips Volume 1, the latest album by recent uh, Room 6 guests, Repeat Offenders, and friends of the channel, Wheelchair Mosh Pit. It's been almost a year since I first interviewed this act, and I just recently interviewed them again, and a lot has changed since then, with a new lineup consisting of Jared Kashi, Terry Sena, Kerry Triumpho, and member of Room 6 alumni decaying Tigers Shane Shirley, I'm interested to see what the new and improved WMP has in store. So gel up your mohawk and polish up your spikes and get ready for a punk rock musical journey. So I was thinking we do a protest show. I think we start with I Refuse. It's our biggest song. I sang it really angry, like back in the day. Now I just think a different approach, but you complain that you can't see, see, no. <laughs> This video is brought to you by Flaviar. We'll hear more about them later. For now, let's get on to today's video. Kicking things off is the album intro, evoking memories of Motley Crue's intro to their song Hot for Teacher. Once we've been introduced to the kind of shenanigans we can expect from this album, Fun Police is next. Here's a fun bit of Room 6 trivia. I was actually in the music video for this song. Thank you, thank you, yeah, I know, I know. Get back to work, YouTube boy. Get on with it. Opening with crunchy power chords before the band joins in, this one features the requisite yelled vocals and has dive bar energy written all over it. With a hilarious spoken word portion about defiling your boss's desk, this song doesn't take itself too seriously, just like the band, with meandering guitar solos and the traditional three chord punk rock. It's easy to enjoy lyrics like, you look into my eyes, tell me what you want to do tonight. You want to have some fun. You want to get undone. What does she have to do with you having fun? Nothing. She's the fun police. That's what. Track number three is Donna Bell, the first of many love songs on the album. Immediately giving pop punk 90s skater movie vibes, this track is just the right amount of sugary sweet yet still rocks. As the upbeat tune progresses, we get guitar noodling that drives the song forward before a brief breakdown. Uh, before we hear a clip from Eric Andre's speech for class president, things get infectious and catchy with lyrics like, Am I just a fool right now? Am I on stage acting like a clown? Tell me now. This job I'm going to quit. This feeling really makes me sick, so farewell. The next song on the album is Everybody Wants Her, a song with some old school punk elements. Starting out with just vocals over a marching drum beat and some acoustic guitar, the song eventually builds up and kicks into some good old three chord punk. It's as if someone took a 50s doo-wop song and gave it to the band Rancid to put their spin on it. It's sweet and salty at the same time, and a nice application of time changes and funny lyrical moments, which make it fun, especially with lyrics like, Everybody, they know that she's not the one for them this time. Everybody, they know that they will never be within her sight. Changing things up a bit, Angel with a Bottle is next. Keeping things old school, this one is the tale of another poor soul in a bar looking for love. With another build up into a fast paced tune, there's a melancholy laid over the upbeat nature of this track. There's also some great imagery evoked by lyrics like, Start with her charm, her auras so bright, next is her skin like porcelain, then those brown eyes, they get me every time. The sixth track on the album is Too Late, introducing the lead vocal talents of Carrie Triumpho. Adding some emo rock vibes to the mix, this one showcases Carrie's singing and shows off the versatility of the band. There's no mistake here about why this song was written. The story being told is one of someone who gets lost while another gets stable and is not putting up with it anymore. With dark imagery and even some brief guttural vocal moments, the listener can't help but bang their head to lyrics like, You're the first one to pander. You're the voice in the chatter. You keep a strict double standard. You think the truth doesn't matter. And now, a word from our sponsors. Thanks, Josh, from the past. To quote Ron Burgundy, mm, I love scotch. I love scotch. Scotch has got scotch. Of course, I'm also partial to a nice bourbon. Sometimes, however, one can get a little bored drinking the same old stuff, so it's always fun to try something new, but without breaking the bank on an unknown product. Good thing Flaviar exists. 
Flaviar is a band of spirits enthusiasts inspired by culture, rich history, and the art of distillation. They forage the world of spirits for the finest, rarest, and most unique expressions out there and pack it all into a 21st century members club. You are what you drink, diversity and quality matter, and all that should most certainly be enjoyed with style and in good company. Just for watching this video and for being part of room six and for a limited time, you can use my affiliate link down in the description to get 7% off the entire site. Just enter promo code get started at checkout. Plus, you'll be helping out the channel. Thanks to Flaviar for being a sponsor, and let's get back onto the show. Song number seven is My Eyes, a straight ahead pop punk rocker introduced by none other than Mr. Mackey from South Park. Okay. With a little bit of oi energy and some group vocals that give this a band of brothers feel. The beginning of this has song and a skateboarding video written all over it. As a vocal diatribe rambles on in the background, the beat intensifies and the song becomes an angry tirade with an almost anthem-like chant followed by a spoof ad that follows lyrics like, you know what, we've all felt this pain, thick and thin, sometimes you just gotta let her walk away. The next tune is You Are The One, an unapologetic love song. With a catchy backbeat and group vocals, this is a simple and straightforward track. There's some nice breaks and just the right amount of lovey-dovey and it's easy to sing along to lyrics like, you don't know that you never knew me, but you never really tried to find out. Looking for so long, I didn't see it coming. I'm seeing clear now. I'm better, no doubt. Up next is the cleverly titled, Your Nickel Ain't Worth a Dime, a cover song written by the band Sleeping With Sirens. Bringing Carrie back for lead singer duties, the band does a faithful representation of this tune. This one definitely feels like a blend of pop music and hard rock with high energy power chords used with sugary sweet vocals. It's a definite departure from the previous material on the album, yet it still works. It somehow fits into the whole perfectly. <laughs> the next track answers the question, is Rock Bottom a birthstone? Obviously a tongue-in-cheek endeavor from the title alone. This is a return to pop punk form with alternating tempos and judicious use of different vocal styles. We're given some nice group choruses and catchy guitar licks here making this an upbeat and fun tune that doesn't take itself too seriously with lyrics like, I'm wasting time, but it's all right. I'll be a fool and stay the night. You're bored to death. I'm so content. Your second plan is still my best. Bringing things back home a bit, Live in Las Vegas is the shortest and penultimate song on the album. Don't know what that means? Look it up. Starting off with the unmistakable sound of slot machines, the rest of the song kicks into a fuzzy guitar riff before we're greeted with snarky vocals alternating between pop punk and audio samples of some Golden Knights propaganda. This one is short but sweet and feels like a high-paced night in Sin City fused with some good old sports ball thrown in. It's fun and catchy with lyrics like, well the drums still have dust from alien stock and I look like my character from Tony Hawk. Fremont says these sticks are dangerous. That's the life I've lived and lied in Las Vegas. Finishing things off is this highly copyrightable Spongebob closing theme. This melange of moments from Spongebob Squarepants history features the band's takes on their favorite bits. I think this won't cause YouTube to hit this video with a copyright claim, but if it does, it's worth it. Obviously born out of some rehearsal shenanigans, this is a perfect representation of the band and their senses of humor and a great way to finish off this album. Overall, Moshing Safety Tips Volume 1 by Wheelchair Mosh Pit is a fun romp through their musical influences and should be included on your playlist. I'm so glad I got the chance to check it out, and I think you will be too. And thanks to the band for shouting me out in the liner notes. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you'll click the link down below for your own copy of Moshing Safety Tips Volume 1 by Wheelchair Mosh Pit. It's a fun ride, and you'll be glad you did. In the meantime, if you want to be on the channel, featured, but reviewed, interviewed, or both, hit me up using my email address or click the Room 6 me uh, social media link down below. If you want to see more videos like this, click up here. If you want to subscribe, click over there, ring the bell, you know the drill. And if you want to hear my own music, then by all means, click over there. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.